So the next kind of bot that we are going to look at is a bot which helps you choose the right language for your webhook based on asking you a few questions. Now this is very similar to the checklist or diagnostics bot in the sense that it is going to ask you a set of uh, multiple choice questions to answer but it is also different from the checklist bot because not all answers are just yes or no. You will have in this case you will see that there will be an answer you have to provide which is uh, got more choices and as a result that uh, slightly modifies the design of your agent. So when you first interact with the bot, when you first trigger the welcome intent, it is going to ask are you creating an app for the Google Assistant. So let me give you a quick uh, overview of what this, uh, what this bot is going to do. It is going to see if you are building a Google Assistant app and if you are it's going to suggest using Node.js because Node.js has the best documentation of all the languages when it comes to building Google Assistant apps. And then if you said no, it's going to ask if you are going to use Firebase as your backend. And once again, if you say yes, it's going to recommend Node.js because uh, the documentation for Firebase is the Node.js documentation for Firebase is generally speaking a lot better than the documentation that you have for other programming languages when you are using Firebase. And let us say you say no for that also. So you said no for Google Assistant and no for Firebase. Then it is going to ask you which language are you most comfortable using and then it is going to give you a list of programming languages. Now in that list you will have languages which have good documentation uh, when it comes to webhooks and also which has uh, official client library supported by the dialog flow team. So if you were to choose a language outside of that list, it is going to, so what happened at that point is that you, you are not building a Google Assistant app and you are not going to use Firebase. So it is going to recommend using Python because it is a language which has good documentation and it has good client library support and it is actually quite easy to learn. And uh, if you chose one of the languages which does have good support, it is just going to ask you to use that language because uh, you, you are most comfortable with that language and you are likely to be most productive if you just continue using that language. So with that said, let us take a look at how the bot behaves. Let us say that I say yes here. So it says I recommend using Node.js and if I were to say no for the first answer and then I say yes for Firebase. So once again it is recommending using Node.js and then let us start the conversation one more time. This time I am going to say no for, for the Google Assistant question as well as no for the Firebase question. So it is asking which programming language are you most comfortable using? So you can say Python, PHP, Ruby, Java, Node.js, other. So let us say that I say Ruby. It is going to say I recommend using Ruby as it has good documentation and good client library support. And it would have done the same thing if I had chosen Python. It would have selected, it would have said I recommend using Python or you know PHP. It will just say I recommend using PHP. Um, so let us see the last branch in the tree. Now I say other, it is going to come back with I recommend using Python as it has good documentation, good client library support and is easy to learn. So now we will see how we are going to build a bot like this.